My wife, 32F, told me she hates me, 31M, to my face on our family vacation. Edit. People here are right, I shouldn't bury an important lead. My wife, 32F, suffers from severe BPD and is receiving treatment. However she is currently in between therapists at this time. Underscore 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 underscore. My apologies for any confusion, I'm hurt and exhausted and it's making it hard to think straight. I don't even know if I'm in the right here. My wife, 32F, is very close to her best friend, 31F, since grade school. Without getting too much into it, my wife has had an extremely emotionally manipulative childhood since coming to the US from the Philippines at 10 years old. She made friends with this woman around middle school and their family has essentially adopted her as a daughter at this point. Well, it's been a tough time going for this family. The father, 60M, has been forced to leave retirement due to a major business loss that has been devastating. The daughter has had some serious personal issues as well that I can't get into. Either way, it's been a rough few months. My wife and I are both high earners but she's on a whole different level, $150,000 per year for me versus $300,000 per year for her. She had the idea to bring the entire family on an all-expense paid vacation to Niagara Falls, the father's favorite place to visit in the world. I was 100% supportive of the decision. I knew she could handle the finances perfectly fine herself but I also offered to pitch in what I could and took the time off of work. Unfortunately, the trip needed to be rescheduled due to a very unfortunate thing that happened to her friend. I was okay with the change, but the new date would make it difficult to completely take off work. I told her I may need to work during my time there, knowing that this trip was more for the family's sake anyway. Well the time comes and we're all finally in Niagara Falls. Everything seems to be going well, until I mention to the group that I need to head back to the hotel and take care of some work. My wife is furious, but she doesn't tell me until later that night. She said she thought I was taking all the time off, and I said that I told her I needed to work a bit because this was an unexpected last-minute change of schedule. It turned into a, I told you this, no, you told me this, for a little while and things were a bit heated and we went to bed angry. We wake up still upset with each other but I didn't want it to ruin the day so I put on a happy face for the group, while still being a bit distant with my wife, and vice versa. Then, it turns out my wife needed to take time later that day to lead a meeting that was going to take four hours. In private I told her it was not fair to be upset with me for working the day before if she was doing it as well. She said, it's a very important department meeting that I need to be present for, I am the boss and need to lead by example. I get very upset at this, saying that my work is just as important to me and you're holding conflicting standards. Tensions rise, me being distant with her earlier that day didn't help either. I decide to leave the room and cool off. She mutters under her breath, I hate you sometimes, as I leave the room. I turn back and say, what did you say? Say it to my face, and she says, I hate you. I ask her if she would like a divorce, she says, yes, then says, see, you're saying it this time, she has weaponized the threat of divorce in past heated exchanges, this is the first time I brought it up. I walk off, looking immediately to find another hotel in the area. I was so hurt, she was so direct and I feel like I've tried so hard to contribute to all of this. I know she literally did the planning and organizing, my tangible contribution was only a fraction of hers. But I made the time and effort and offered my help wherever I could assist. On my way out, I run into the friend and her husband, 34M. I try to keep my cool, but my face starts to crack and when she asks me what's wrong I say, well, my wife just told me she hates me to my face, so I think I'm going to take a little walk. I apologize for the drama, and leave the building. I found a hotel room and didn't attend the rest of the events planned for that day. My wife calls a few hours later, asks where I am and that I should go to the airport and leave. After reading some other posts on this sub, I feel this is all so petty and frivolous. But, at the same time I feel so emotionally hurt that I can't help but respond. Too long did not read. I had to work on a family vacation and my wife got mad. She had to work the next day, and I got upset at the hypocrisy. We had a fight, she said, I hate you. I asked if she wanted a divorce and she said, yes. Very upset and confused. Edit. We've been together for around 11 years, four married. We own a house and three dogs, no children. Edit. There is unfortunately so much context I'm leaving out here. I'll repost a comment I made below. I really do appreciate the advice, but to those who say there isn't love, we've been together 11 years, or course I love her.
there are no money troubles. Whoever said money doesn't buy happiness was right, but it sure as hell lowers a person's stress. We live quite comfortably, even though we both work demanding jobs. I encourage my wife to make the most of our resources to do things she never would have had the chance to before. Example? She's seen four Taylor Swift shows, front row, and has plans to go to another six in Europe, front row. I know this sounds like bragging, but understand we both come from low, low middle class families, think Malcolm in the middle for me, much worse for my wife. She has full control of both our finances, I trusted her to do what was best for us both. I want her to be happy, I still do care for her. Unfortunately she also suffers from severe BPD, abandonment and has had several suicide attempts. She's also fucking incredible, her single-minded determination is the kind CEOs of Fortune 500 companies dream of. When she's great she's great, but when she's bad she's bad. This is the first time she's been so directly hurtful towards me. I know she cares about me, we fight a lot but it's never been the kind of stuff that cuts to the core, we make up rather quickly. I've learned to be extremely patient and understanding in our 11 years, knowing a lot of this doesn't stem from hate towards me. But now? I don't know, I just feel like I can't hack it anymore. This is a first. Update. I have updated my flight so that I can get back home earlier. The only contact from her at this time was her asking if I wanted to tag along with her in the rental care and if I was still planning to fly. I plan to get some stuff and shack off in some hotel room for a few days until I can think about the next course of action. You have two places you can go. An attorney, or a marriage therapist. You'll know when she gets back which one you want. In either case, you should find a therapist for yourself as this is a pretty big deal. Divorce should never be a weapon. It's time to end it. She is either committed or not. Why can't you both leave? It's a free vacation for them and they are adults. Not the point, but as a former marriage counselor, Niagara Falls seems to be the hub of so many marriages ending. What a strangely cursed place for relationships. No children, give her the divorce she wants. You may also want to hire a private investigator if you live in an at-fault state. Toxic relationship. It's time to call it quits and divorce op. It's only going to get worse. I, 23 female. Think my dad, 56 male, sod me. What do I say if he approaches me again? TW. Depictions of possible saw. My dad, 56M, and I, 23F, have a good relationship. Not particularly close in that I don't tell him everything, but I live with him and my mom and see him almost every day. We do talk and have lunch together sometimes. My whole immediate family has a very physically affectionate relationship. We hug and kiss each other upon greeting. We, twink, each other, meaning a light pinch with your hand, and my dad seems to have a, special interest in kissing and twinking my butt and belly button. When I would tell him no he would, jokingly, beg aggressively. He's been very touchy for a while now. This is where I started having a sinking feeling he might be attracted to me. I've had a, glow up, a few years ago and I'm more unconventionally attractive than I was growing up. I've had a bad summer and I'm in a vulnerable state. I've been on meds and in therapy a while now and nothing's working. A couple of months ago I got into a car accident that will have legal consequences that I'm terrified about, and because of it I attempted suicide and was put under an involuntary hold in a psych ward for a week. My parents have been very supportive through all this. They've helped me pay for meds and legal help, I called them every day while in the hospital, and now that I'm out they've both been kind to me. The night before last, my dad came into the room for snuggles, and got in my twin-sized bed with me to cuddle a while, as he's done in the past. He started massaging my back, which felt nice, and up to now my father and I have only had platonic interactions. He asked if I wanted a massage, and I said yes. He went to get massage oils from his room across the hall. He started massaging me, and long story short, it got sexual. He moved down from rubbing my back to my butt and genitals, then put his tongue there. He left, then came back later. He said, I love you so much. I just want to make you feel good. He did mostly the same again and rubbed massage oil on himself, climbed on top of me, and rubbed himself on me. I feel so violated. I was so scared he would go further. If it hadn't happened twice I would be trying to convince myself I'm crazy. But I'm not. I'm in shock. I'm racking my head on why he would do this now, when I'm struggling. I know, I'm easier to take advantage of, I just fucking froze and didn't say or do anything and prayed for it to be over soon. But why would he kick me when I'm down? Why would he think that would be something that helped me? 
I'm really, really trying to convince himself it was a dream, or that I'm batshit insane, but because he came back I know it was real. I was mentally stuck. I didn't know what to do. I don't know why I didn't just say, stop, or, no, that probably would have prevented things. I don't know if it saw since I never said those words. I didn't say anything. I literally just froze and shook and covered my eyes. I feel like such a fucking coward and I am so, so angry my own father would take advantage of me in this way. I don't know what to do. I'm not telling anyone close to me, the entire fucking internet is already enough. I think I just needed to tell someone without my life changing. My parents are the only reason I still have an ounce of belief in love. They're best friends. I don't want to disrupt my family. I can't. I'm not brave enough. I dreaded seeing him when he came home yesterday. He could tell something was up. This morning he told me without prompting that he ate an edible that night and it made him feel wacky, and he was also drinking that night. He's not the type to imbibe alcohol other than the occasional glass of wine and he doesn't consume marijuana products. He pressed me to find out what was wrong, but I couldn't get the words out. How do I move forward? There's no possibility of me moving out anytime soon, and I'm not ready to tell anyone. Not even my therapist. I'm so devastated. My dad and I were best friends when I was young, and we've been starting to talk more lately. Everything has changed now. All of my 23 years worth of happy memories with him are tainted. He said we could talk more later. What do I do? Step 1. You need to get the fuck out of that house. He just got away with oils, tongue and your genitals. Don't stick around for the inevitable escalation. Find a friend and get away. Talk to your therapist or literally any other trusted adult. Your dad is a creep, the stuff you have done is not normal. Not even close, and the fact that he continued it as you got older, and that your mom encouraged it is horrible. It's called incest. Inform your mom and therapist. Are you able to tell your mom what happened? Or perhaps another trusted relative? I'm very sorry this has happened to you. Please don't blame yourself for freezing. This is a normal response to fear that your sperm donor took advantage of. I'm disgusted. I 33 male don't want to hurt my ex-wife's 33 female feelings. I 33 male don't want ex-wife 33 female or her sister's baby back. Sorry in advance for the grammar and format I am on my phone at work right now. I am hoping to both get advice and get this off my chest. I, 33 male, have been going through a separation and divorce since March of this year. My wife, 33 female, has been extremely unfaithful to me for many years with multiple men. I've been though it all with her. Cheating and drug abuse and rehab and counseling. Relapsing again and more affairs with more men. I never liked drugs except weed and never cheated. After 11 years together 7 married I call it quits. Now, one of our issues was infertility. Since we have broken up in March I have gone through a big change in my life. I have stopped smoking, started exercising and focusing hard on my job. Saving my money and paying off my debts. Setting new goals for myself and pursuing my old hobbies. I feel fantastic about myself and the direction my life is heading now. For her, on the other hand she has been dating her drug dealer. I don't know much more than that. However here's where things get tricky. She has been reaching out a lot to me this past week because her younger sister has dropped her two-year-old child off with her parents and said that she doesn't want to be a mom anymore. So the grandparents have taken the kid. Now my ex wants to get back together with me and for us to raise the baby together because her parents are too old and tired. She says that she can't do this alone and she needs me. She says that I am the best man she has ever known. She says that her current boyfriend doesn't want kids and that we always did so this is our chance. She says that she was going to end this with her boyfriend anyway. She says there's no other option for her she has to be a single mom because there's no one else, but she's terrified that she can't do it alone. I asked her if all I am is stability and a bank account? She said of course not. That she loves me. She says she wants her husband back. She says that she messed up. Now, here's where I may be the asshole. I don't want this child. I don't want my ex-wife either. But I also do not have any desire to raise a child that I do not have any connection to. It makes me feel so bad for this little kid. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be harsh but I have my own life that I am excited about living and I really don't want to change everything around for someone else's kid and my ex who broke my heart. My ex has been crying and begging me for days. Telling me that she loves me and that she needs me. She has been asking me if she can come home. The truth is, this is not her home, this is my apartment. She has never lived here. I don't feel like her husband anymore. 
I haven't for a long time. Now I am supposed to become a father to a child that is not mine or hers. Her parents don't even want to give the child to my ex until she cleans up her life but have made it very clear that they expect her to raise this child because of their ages. I feel like I am breaking my ex's heart. Am I being selfish? My ex has sent me pictures of the kid to pull on my heartstings but I don't feel anything for this kid except sorry that she has such a crazy family. How do I break it to her and not hurt her feelings? I might not be in love with her anymore but I don't want to cause her any pain. Would I learn to love this child and my ex again? Is it really what's best to the kid? Man, you aren't compatible with her. She will clean her act up for a while. Get the kid and then cheat on you again. She isnt going to suddenly stop cheating because of a child. A lot of people have kids to save their relationship. It does not work. All you do is break an innocent child. Do not take her back. She is guilt tripping you to get what she wants. I would bet that she won't stop seeing her dealer. She will want a fix and he will make her work for it. Do not do this to yourself. Block her and move on. Dude. Why haven't you gone no contact yet? Not your circus. Nah, to be honest, you shouldn't even be entertaining this notion. You don't want her. You don't want her sister's kid. It's an easy no. You don't have to talk to your ex-wife at all anymore, as there is nothing tying you to her. It sounds like she is, has been and will always be nothing but trouble and it sounds like you're doing better without her. I, 18 female, gave my boyfriend, 23 male, an STD? My, 23 male, boyfriend asked me, 18 female, to go to the park with him today to walk around and hang out. I didn't think anything of it and agreed, he also said he had SM important to talk about. So we make our way to the park take a seat on a bench and then he tells me that he had been experiencing some discomfort while peeing and wanted to get tested. Recently we had unprotected SX for the first time and he wanted to know if there was anyone else that I've had SX with before unprotected. I said no and he was the first guy, which is true. I told him I've never had this problem before and it new to me. I asked him questions about how he felt and why he would think I'd give him anything STD or STI related, and he just said that he just didn't feel right down there. I suggested to him that since it was our first time having unprotected SX maybe our PHs were messed up from the experience. He seemed convinced that maybe I didn't know how to clean myself or something. He started to give me tips on cleansing that's common knowledge at least for me, and said I should eat better and take the same herbs he does for pH. Which is understandable but he held a tone of like, you're inexperienced let me teach you, which isn't the case. I have perfect hygiene, but my pH balance is easily affected. Even I had some discomfort after the night we were unprotected, which has never happened before but I just thought it was the nair I had used previously that had irritated the skin down there that has been bothering me since days prior, and didn't think anything of it. He said that couldn't be it and I probably gave him a bacterial infection, and then things were very awkward for a while, and he seemed mad that I was stressed and upset over the topic and couldn't enjoy the rest our date. He said that since I'm stressed about it so much it must mean there's something I'm not telling him or I just don't keep track of my SMXUAL partner's history which I do, and I've always asked if my partners have been tested. Personally I just get stressed easily and if there is an issue it would be news to me. I booked a planned parenthood appointment for next week to see what's going on, but I genuinely don't think that they'll find anything. I have had a, a bit of irritation but that was because I used Nair in the wrong place and definitely for too long, but that healed before we did anything TG. I'm a bit offended by what he said, but it is right to get tested OFC but he was so demeaning about it and acted like I didn't know anything. I expressed to him that how he acted hurts my feelings but then he went on to say I was overreacting. Has anyone else gone through this? Disclaimer. Maybe I didn't word this correctly. I have had SMX with other people before, but I've always used protection and they had been tested before anything. My current boyfriend is the only guy I've slept with unprotected, without condiums, but he said that he gets tested every three months. I am not mad at my boyfriend for getting tested, I'm mostly just disappointed that he immediately put the blame on me. I felt as if he thought I had the problem without much probable cause. Too long did not read. My, 23 male, boyfriend thinks I gave him an STI or STD after having unprotected SMX for the first time. He immediately blamed me without getting testing done and was really insensitive, and now I'm mad and upset of him for being so sure that I have a problem. Both of you should get an STD test. Leave him. The fact he's instantly casting blame on you without any doctor's visits is a bad omen for the future.
You can't be his escape for all the problems. The timing could be a coincidence and something else is going on. If he saw the doctor and confirmed his theory? Fine. But just assuming he's right then trying to talk down to you like you don't know how to shower? Leave. I got NSU. Nonspecific urethritis. My first time. It's just a reaction to your natural bacterial flora interacting. It's not an STD as such. SMH woman facepalming medium skin tone. Your boyfriend had an STD before sleeping with you. Congratulations, you now have it too.